Um, thank you very much, gentlemen of the press. The Ministry of Petroleum Resources presented a memo on the rehabilitation of Port Harcourt refinery uh, for the sum of 1.5 billion, and that memo was 1.5 billion dollars, and it was approved by council today. So we are happy to announce that the rehabilitation of Port Harcourt refinery will commence forthwith. Uh, it is in three phases. The first phase is to be completed in 18 months, which will take the refinery to a production of 90% of its name plate capacity. Uh, the second phase is to be completed in 24 months, and all the final stage will be completed in 44 months. And council graciously approved, and I believe that uh, this is good news for Nigerians, that the rehabilitation of our refineries have commenced. Who is the contractor? That's a very good question that uh, I should have said from the very beginning. The contractor that was approved by council today is Messrs. Technimont SPA of Italy. It's an Italian E and EPC company uh, that won the bid, um, and uh, that was approved by council. On the other very germane question about operations and maintenance, that has been a big problem for our refineries, as we all know. Um, that was also exhaustively discussed in council, and the agreement is that we are going to put an oper a professional operational operations and maintenance company to maintain uh, the refinery, to manage the refinery when it has been rehabilitated. In any case, it is actually one of the condition precedent by the lenders because the lenders say they can only give us the money if we have a professional operational and maintenance company. And that already is embedded in our discussions with the lenders and uh, we are not going to, we cannot go back on that. Somebody asked the question about whether the funds are available. I want to ask, I want to answer that uh, the funds are all in place and work will commence forthwith. Um, on the last question, which is uh, when the other refineries will also be rehabilitated, discussions are ongoing. We want to take one at a time. And I want to assure you that before the lifetime of this administration expires, the work on all the refineries would have at least commenced. Uh, first, I am not aware of any such agreement that uh, the regulation should only take place after the refinery has been fixed. Uh, that was at no time part of our uh, agreement. But of course, this government from the very beginning has been in the process of uh, fixing and rehabilitating this refinery. So it is not because of our discussion with labor but it is actually a desire of the administration to ensure that our, uh, our refineries work. And that is the process that has borne fruit today. The cost of the refinery of the, uh, of the uh, rehabilitation of uh, Potaco refinery, as I said earlier, is $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion. Well, that was also discussed. The, we actually went the first uh, uh, action was to go to the original refinery builders. But you all know, uh, like I do, that if you have a Toyota car and your Toyota car develops problems, you don't have to go to the builders of the Toyota to fix it. Uh, usually there are people in the business of building Toyota cars. There are also people in the business of maintaining Toyota cars. Uh, so we found out from the original refinery builders that they are not in the business of repair, rehabilitating refineries. They are in the business of building refineries. 
So they actually pointed us to a rehabilitation company that we are dealing with now. Um, there are components, various components to the funding. There is funding from NMPC internally generated revenue. There is funding from the budget. And there is also a debt funding. Um, for the lenders, um, we, are, we, are, we are dealing with Afrexim, and they are very committed to us. We have had uh, various discussions, and we are almost uh, we, are, we are actually we have actually concluded discussions with Afrexim uh, on the issue of uh, local participation. As you know, there is a local content law. Uh, NCDMB is fully part of the contracting process, and has safeguarded the interest adequately of our local contractors. So our local people will be fully involved uh, with uh, Technimont SPA. No, I said, I said, I said or be, before the end of the lifespan of this administration, uh, I can assure you that Kaduna Refinery, Wari Refinery will commence also. Rehabilitation will commence. Thank <music> you.